Today the water was glass. For three days and more the ocean had vented its wrath without restraint, lashing out at everything in its path. Today exhaustion held sway. Today the water was glass. I placed a flower behind my ear and slipped like the perfect hand into the perfect glove, naked and still into its chill and salty calm. Its surface is adopting mine, laundering my pain and licking at every orifice, lusty and eager, like a cat lapping cream in slow motion. A dead bird floated past me, hushed and unhurriedly, as if it was a player in a dream without an end. It lay on its back with its wings outstretched and curved, and waving almost imperceptibly, like a feathered crucifixion in a breeze. Its tiny head was tilted to the side, and it looked like it was smiling, or should I say, she looked like she was smiling, for her mellow, gentle mien was undoubtedly feminine. She looked like Ophelia, floating there on the water's glass, a testament to love's tragedy, tossed, heart-wrenched and forsaken, to the eternal nunnery, I took the flower from behind my ear and scattered its petals quietly and with reverence over and around her poor wee frame. No one will ever paint her, I thought, despite her astonishing beauty, but I shall hold fast and fervent to this memory. I shall not forget my Ophelia of the open skies. Did your sorrows in battalions come? Was there method to your madness? Did you doubt that stars are fire, or did you doubt he loved you? Who was he, your sweet Hamlet? Was he worth it?